Uh, sure, Nagy. No, no. Okay, hand again. So be as awkward as you can, um, Mark, without getting a punch from him. <laughs> be as difficult as you can. Right. So this, you have a seat, Mark. <laughs> so Nigel can go as far as that. Now what we've got to do is we got to, we're going to look at the string rather than Nigel and he's going to pretend he's doing sheer naggy and we're going to see if the string slackens. Oh, oh that went a bit tight then, didn't it? Over your head. Right, because even though I said look at the string, you actually saw him go a little bit, did you? If you did, well done. You see, that's the trouble, you see, you're all critical. <laughs> okay, so let's do it again. So, whether you have a person or string, now, see, Nigel doesn't want to, doesn't want to give in to the form because he wants the form to be really clear and he's keeping his hand in front of him. But <coughs> how much can you? OK, so once more. Right. This is how much sense he, oh, I'll, I've told the story several times. Saito Sensei in New Zealand, he, he got this knee down to throw this suki around on the map. We were having a party. And he says, no, that's no good, it's no good. And he had a few vodkas. And he gets up with a plastic fork and he goes, grab the fork. Of course, we all laugh. We're at a party. It's all funny. Grab a, you know, you don't grab a little plastic fork. He, got, he went really serious and shouted at it. Grab the fork, he says to this person. They grab the fork. He throws them, I don't know, several times. And he says, and he's holding the fork again. He says, that's how much power you need to do one my kiddo. And he just went like that and went bick and that broke in half. And he said, that's how much you don't need. And I, I still remember today thinking it can't be true what I've just said. So Nigel does this, he keeps the string tight because that's his main thought. Okay. But what he does is, carry on. What he can do here, it's getting a bit tight now. So his best bet is to keep his hands there, but to let his body come towards the chair. Move, uh, go, with your feet. Yeah, and with your feet. That's it, keep the string tight. Okay, see? And now continue. But his stubborn mind, what we've all got, um, Jane thinks I'm worse than her, but I think she's worse than me, so I don't know who's <laughs> right. So our stubborn mind is stopping us actually seeing or doing the technique correctly. So let's do, do it again. So now you know the format. Right, so his body, thank you, his body is giving in to the technique rather than him being under sort of pressure. So now... So now you haven't got any string, but you've got a person who still weighs a lot and do the sheer nag again. <laughs> well, he don't weigh that much, but... So he has to somehow work out how he goes... That's better. So we don't... Um, we don't pin ourselves to the form and sometimes or most of the time we do we go well it's there it's there it's there and about and then you're see you're here what we call unbendable arm then all of a sudden this unbendable arm gets to a bent arm and you're getting shorter and some people can even pull you back because you're not realizing and this technique you're doing i'm not going to go into the depth of it but when you do that when you do that you're actually not becoming supple enough. You might need to, with your buttock, you might need to actually go into them a little bit. Not give anything away, you know. So you should be using the whole thing of Aikido. You know, people have been around a long time. You'll know. You shouldn't... Uh, I don't know what the word was. Um, equilibrium. equilibrium, yeah. 
balance equally. You know, if I can see my hands, they need to be at the same distance. If that's where the distance is, and I bring it down here, then I haven't got Aikido. You know, I've got, I haven't got this, what they call the unbendable arm. So if you're going to start off here, you might have to move into them. Uh, if you're training with someone this high and you're this high, forget Shia Nagi. It can't work. Oh, I'll bend my knees. I'll be really good. It doesn't fit. It doesn't work. You need to only do Shia Nagi's really on... You know, you might go bow and then when they get up, you go, oh, blimey. I didn't realise I was bound to you. <laughs> go and find somebody else. Right? So, but if you can get somebody sim similar height, then you can do this, a shianagi. All right? So I'd like you to just switch now to the shianagi and see if you can keep your arms, seeing your arms at the distance. And remember, it's no good trying to see your arms by dragging them around the mat with you. I'm keeping my arms straight. <laughs> you, have, you, have to, you have to bend like a, the wind on a tree. Okay, don't worry about it. 